From the blush-worthy titty bong to the chuckle-inducing inaloo, today on Globe Trekking, we're trekking through the bizarre and eyebrow-raising world of oddly named places. But as amusing as they sound, these quirky town names aren't just signposts for a giggle. They often carry outdated insensitive connotations that clash with today's inclusive values and can cause discomfort or offense. So strap in and subscribe to Globe Trekking because we're about to unravel the stories behind these names, the modern controversies they stir, and whether it's time for a rebranding. Join us as we count down the top 10 towns with names so strange they might just make you rethink that selfie by the welcome sign. Number 10, Mount Buggery, Victoria. Nestled in the highlands of Victoria, Australia, Mount Buggery may elicit a smirk at first mention, but its humorously intended name carries an outdated and insensitive slang term that can evoke quite the opposite reaction. For many, the directness of the name may trigger more than just an eye roll, tipping into the realm of discomfort or outright offense. The term buggery, with its historical criminal connotations, does little to endear the place to modern audiences who are increasingly aware and sensitive to the implications of language. To some, the crass frankness of the name Mount Buggery is not just a matter of a harmless chuckle. It poses a genuine concern about the clash with contemporary values. Australia, known for its laid-back demeanor and diversity, might find such a provocative name at odds with its aspirations of modernity and inclusivity. In a country that celebrates its rich tapestry of cultures and the respectful acknowledgement of differences, such a brazenly titled landmark sticks out like a sore thumb, undermining efforts to project a globally considerate image. As we delve further into this list of awkwardly named locations within the vast Australian landscape, Mount Buggery underscores a key point of contention. At what point does a name transcend the bounds of historical quirk and venture into offensive territory? More than a mere titular facade, Mount Buggery's title puts into sharp relief how names steeped in insensitivity can become relics of a bygone era, unsuited for a society that values respect and empathy above antiquated humor. Number 9. Inaloo, Western Australia a town with a name like Inaloo doesn't have to try hard to turn heads or evoke a reaction. Its unique pronunciation alone is enough to prompt a barrage of juvenile chuckles and snickers in high school classrooms and among travelers alike. Whether it's read on a road sign, heard in conversation, or spotted on a map, the giggles it garners are almost as guaranteed as the confusion it causes with its spelling. Inaloo, while not outwardly offensive or crude, has inadvertently become the butt of jokes. A comical mascot for the state of Western Australia in anecdotes and punchlines across the country. It seems almost inevitable that a name so phonetically playful would attract perpetual jest, regardless of the town's reputable offerings or its resident's pride. This seemingly innocent moniker illustrates the unexpected journey some place names undertake, evolving from geographic labels to the unintended fodder for inappropriate humor. What might have been a straightforward name at its inception has, in modern times, become a verbal playground, highlighting how linguistic evolution and cultural change can recast the most benign terms as comedic gold. Number 8. Fanny Bay, Northern Territory Nestled in the coastal regions, Fanny Bay in the Northern Territory may prompt a double-take with its name that doubles as crude slang for body parts. The colorful title, once perhaps an innocent geographic term, has been hijacked by modern slang, taking on connotations that can spark blushing cheeks and smirks. Yet in today's digital era, the name Fanny Bay travels beyond Australian borders, often landing in the laps of the global online community. Here, it's misinterpreted through the lens of humor or shared as a snippet of light mockery. Digital connectivity turns local quirks into international punchlines, challenging the dignity of a place against the tidal wave of internet culture. Imagine the scene. A family trip to this picturesque bay becomes an impromptu biology lesson 
as curious kids inquire about the name's meaning. Parents find themselves navigating a minefield of explanations, balancing the preservation of childhood innocence with the awkward truth behind the name. The scenario underscores the responsibility of place names in shaping the vocabulary and cultural awareness of the next generation. Number 7. Humpybong, Queensland Tucked away in the sunny state of Queensland is a place with a name that evokes imagery better suited for the private sphere than on a welcoming sign, Humpybong. Originally derived from an aboriginal word, the unfortunate phonetic resemblance in English suggests intimacies usually left unmentioned in public discussions. It's a reminder that sometimes the history of a place can be overshadowed by modern definitions and the double entendre they provide. While Humpybong's name may honor its indigenous roots, it simultaneously runs the risk of trivializing them. Colloquial English interpretations have a way of distorting original meanings, potentially disrespecting the cultural significance these names carry. Communities pride themselves on a rich heritage, but when an indigenous term becomes a chuckle-inducing phrase in the local language, does it not deserve a more respectful representation in today's society? Living in the age of global diversity and inclusivity calls for sensitivity to perceptions from all walks of life. Arguably, Humpybong sits uncomfortably within the framework of modern cultural perspectives. The townsfolk, visitors, and the curious internet wanderer may find that the name conjures up a rather uncomfortable mental image prompting questions about the suitability of such titles in our progressively conscientious world. Number 6. Intercourse Island, Western Australia Taking our journey to the coastlines of Western Australia, Intercourse Island presents a historically accurate name, yet shakes the sensibilities with its decidedly provocative flair. While the etymology likely sprang from innocuous maritime or trade lingo of yesteryears, in today's age, it stands out starkly, giving pause to even the most uninhibited globetrotter. The island's moniker, seemingly lifted from the pages of a risque novel, has undoubted shock value, disrupting the tranquil imagery of turquoise waters and sandy coves that one might expect from a pristine island getaway. Yet, it's not only the name's boldness that draws a double take, but its potential appearance on travel brochures. Here, it borders on explicit content. Visitors could be left wondering whether they're booking a holiday or venturing into the realm of adult entertainment. The challenge faced by marketers is palpable as they aim to promote the island's natural beauty and tourism potential while sidestepping the lingering smirks often provoked by its mention. It's a delicate task to maintain professionalism and appeal in the light of a name that inevitably raises eyebrows and smirks alike. The lure of Intercourse Island, however unintentional, might very well attract forms of tourism that run counter to the community's intentions or open the gates to ridicule that overshadows the location's true value. Potential visitors scanning through a catalog of destinations could either be comically intrigued or deterred by the prospect of explaining their holiday destination at family gatherings. It's the kind of attention that, while keeping the island in namesake discussions, might not align with the sort of wholesome or family-friendly image many destinations aspire to project. Number 5. Come by Chance, New South Wales Tucked away in New South Wales lies a town whose name harks back to an age of innocent discovery. Come by chance, perhaps named to encapsulate the serendipity of its founding, now elicits more than just a feeling of fortuity. In today's vernacular, the town's name carries a sexually suggestive undertone that could make even the most stoic cartographer blush. It's not just about a giggle here and there. The name has inadvertently thrown this humble locality into the spotlight of modern innuendo. As travelers and onlookers smirk at the mention of Come By Chance, the town's rich history and tight-knit community are often overshadowed by the chuckles and wisecracks that its mention invariably invites. This twist of phrase has turned the town into an illusion that stands out in conversations and travel blogs for all the wrong reasons. Ironically, 
the very name that suggests a whimsical twist of fate may actually ward off those serendipitous visitors. Instead of drawing travelers to explore its landscapes and lore, Come By Chance could repel the very explorers and potential new residents it hopes to attract. It's a paradox befitting of the curious times in which we live, where a name like Come By Chance becomes an accidental deterrent, a comedic curiosity rather than the lure it once might have been. Uh, number 4. Mount Misery, Victoria When you hear the name Mount Misery, it's hard not to envision a landscape marred by heartache and sorrow rather than the serene beauty that typically graces Victorian topographies. The foreboding moniker itself casts a gloomy shadow, projecting connotations that would naturally deter the casual tourist or curious traveler in search of their next picturesque adventure. The term misery could indeed leave many pondering the demeanor of those who reside in its shadows. It paints a portrait of a community swallowed by the very essence of despair, a sentiment that's hard to shake and one that's not particularly helpful in fostering a town spirit or visitor appeal. Such a pessimistic label might inadvertently transplant itself onto the local population, coloring perceptions with unreasonable negativity. Furthermore, prospective settlers and entrepreneurial endeavors often seek out locations with names that inspire or at least do not discourage at first mention. Mount Misery, for all its scenic potential, stands at a disadvantage. Its name an unfortunate deterrent to potential growth and prosperity. It may be poetic, but it's certainly not the brochure-friendly epithet that bolsters local economies through tourism, investment, and relocation enthusiasm. Number 3. Rudy Hill, New South Wales Nestled in the suburban landscape of New South Wales lies a town with a name that can cause its residents to blush. Root in Australia isn't just the system that anchors a tree, it's also crass slang for sexual intercourse. A name like Rudy Hill might slide by those unfamiliar with the Aussie vernacular, but for locals and those in the know, it carries a weight of embarrassment. The name Rudy Hill on the surface seems harmless enough, yet it's the hidden, snicker-inducing double entendre that could be seen as perpetuating juvenile humor and demeaning the very place it names. For a town trying to foster community and attract new residents or businesses, having a name associated with a sexual reference can be a real detriment. Perhaps the most significant impact of such a moniker is felt by the residents, for whom the town's name is an everyday utterance. Announcing one's address shouldn't come with a side of red cheeks, but for the people of Rudy Hill, there's often a moment of hesitation. It underscores the delicate balance towns face in preserving their heritage while navigating the evolving societal expectations of propriety and respect. Number 2. Dismal Swamp, Tasmania Nestled in the heart of Tasmania, Dismal Swamp ironically ripples against nature's beauty with its name that reinforces negative stereotypes of swamps and wetlands. Far from the joyous scenes one might expect of a natural sanctuary, the title paints a gloomy picture, suggesting a place devoid of happiness and teeming with despair. This unfortunate naming not only overshadows the vibrant ecosystem, but it casts a shadow on the very essence of these unique habitats. This bleak moniker could be seen as environmentally insensitive, particularly in an age where conservation efforts seek to highlight the vital role of wetlands. Dismal Swamp evokes images of desolation and neglect, which clash with the growing awareness of these areas as biodiversity hotspots, crucial for the survival of many species and natural water filtration systems. It's an antiquated branding that dismisses the ecological richness and the intricate life cycles sustained within its confines. Moreover, such a disheartening name does no favors for local tourism or the community's ability to harness their natural landscapes for storytelling and cultural enrichment. A swamp can be a place of wonder, teeming with life and mystery, and yet, the name might cause many tourists to write it off their travel itineraries, denying them the joy of discovering its hidden marvels. It's a lost opportunity for a community to showcase their natural heritage and connect with visitors through tales of resilience and splendor that their environment rightfully deserves.
Number 1. Tittybong, Victoria Topping off our list of awkwardly named places in Australia, Tittybong in Victoria unapologetically includes terminology often reserved for private circles. While the origin of the name is undoubtedly a piece of local history, its casual reference to the female anatomy may strike modern ears as disrespectfully cavalier. In an age striving for respect and equality, such a name provocatively twangs the strings of contemporary sensitivities. The struggle for appropriateness in public spaces is epitomized by this locale's moniker, as if daring passers-by and residents alike to engage in discourse over what's in a name, Tittybong doesn't shy away from the spotlight. It instead kindles dialogues around cultural respect and the representation of communities through their namesakes, pushing us to question legacy versus the present context. Inherent in the name Tittybong is a volatility that underlines the entire narrative of town naming and renaming. It casts a spotlight on the broader conversation about whether tradition can, or indeed should, weather the tides of change to reflect modern values. The weight of this question bears heavily upon Tittybong serving less as a homage to its origin and more as a resounding call for thoughtful, modern reconsideration. In conclusion, as we've trekked across Australia uncovering some of the most awkwardly named places, we're reminded that words carry weight and town names are no exception. From Mount Buggery to Tittybong, these names, while often rooted in history or innocent misinterpretation, can bump up against modern sensibilities sparking debate and raising eyebrows. While some may argue these quirky monikers are part of the region's charm and history, others believe it's time for a change, highlighting the evolving nature of language and cultural sensitivity. As visitors and residents navigate the maps dotted with these controversial titles, the conversation continues on how best to balance heritage with contemporary values. For those who've chuckled along the way, Remember to hit that subscribe button to Globe Trekking for more curious explorations around our planet. Don't let the opportunity for more enthralling discoveries and discussions pass you by. And if this trek has piqued your interest in peculiar places, why not continue your globe trotting adventures with us? Next up, we delve into the most beautifully named places on Earth, a celebration of names that inspire, delight, and perfectly capture the essence of their locations. Click through to continue the journey with Globe Trekking, where every destination has a story.